Continuing on the program today, we talk to a third presidential candidate of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, Mr. Otho B. Okafo. We also have the views of some senior lawyers on what kind of president the bar needs at a time like this. Plus the highlights from a day of tributes in honor of the late senior advocate of Nigeria, Ghani Adetola Kazim. Hello and welcome to this episode of Law Weekly. I am Shola Shreeli. Last week on the program, we featured our conversation with two presidential candidates of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Paul Usoro and Professor Ernest Ojuku. The feedback has been very interesting, and if you missed that episode, you can go to our YouTube channel to find and watch the videos. This week on the program, we feature the third presidential candidate, Mr. Otho Obi Okafo. He has been described as a frontline litigation lawyer who has handled many high profile cases and is currently the chairman of the Criminal Justice Reform Committee of the NBA. In this interview, Mr. Obi declined to answer certain questions and instead preferred to answer questions on some other issues. I began the interview by asking him to shed more light on his campaign slogan, All Inclusive Bar. The yeah, all-inclusive bar is um, what I may say a political mantra uh, that says that uh, all the strata of the Nigerian Bar Association uh, will be brought together as equal stakeholders, uh, given opportunity to participate uh, very effectively in building a, a very refreshing and new brand of the Nigerian Bar Association. So uh, all the sections of the bar are expected to play roles and uh, you know, giving us a bar of our dreams. So everyone is important, every lawyer is important, and every lawyer is seen as a major stakeholder, stakeholder in building a new bar. I want us to talk about the concerns of young lawyers, particularly that of poor pay. What are you going to do for the young lawyers if you become president of the NBA? When you talk about poor pay, uh, it is something that you should expect when, when the country, when the economy of the country is not doing well. But beyond that, uh, there's also a complaint that uh, even some law firms that are doing fairly well are not paying their young lawyers uh, at least what we call a living wage. So, and that uh, also has uh, given rise to a lot of agitations. Uh, I must say that um, some people have uh, uh, been contending that uh, to solve the problem that there should be a fixed uh, wage uh, which NBA should enforce, but you know as well as I do as a lawyer uh, that um, to enforce that you need a law and for any leadership to be able to actualize such uh, tall order, uh, the law should, be, should uh, be on the table and what you have to do is to enforce. So uh, for a leadership that has only two years uh, lifespan, it's difficult to get the National Assembly to put such a law on the table. Uh, we must have to look for more practical ways to solve the problem without looking at the National Assembly. Uh, we have to do advocacy, that is one. Advocacy on the part of the Nigerian Bar Association to get us new lawyers to have a rethink and do what is right by um, paying their lawyers at least a living wage. Uh, that one is achievable to, you know, to uh, tell them that this is the way to go. But beyond that, uh, other practical things ha ha will have to be done. And uh, we are looking at um, uh, getting the long lawyers to also take their destiny in their own hands. Uh, you don't have to wait for anybody to do everything for you. You have to also be doing something. And we know that we have very resourceful young lawyers in Nigeria who, given a, a proper platform and opportunity, will be able to do much more than we can even imagine. So we are looking at a situation where we should have a national secretariat, a national secretariat a, a unit, and a, a unit with expertise to guide young lawyers who have uh, got some training in some law firms, accredited law firms, uh, to come together to set up partnership. So we intend to see uh, the Nigerian uh, lands, legal landscape grow big law firms, using long, young lawyers as a base. That is achievable by giving them, uh, or let me say, granting loans, soft loans to these young lawyers to be able to set up their own law firms. And they're using the unit in their secretariat to monitor their growth and give them all the expertise they need to succeed. And if we're able to achieve that, we start 
you know, growing big law firms where we can have half real lawyers in a, in a law firm. And that will reduce the incidence of uh, unemployment of lawyers and also help uh, lawyers to earn more, the young lawyers to earn more. They can be their chest and say, we've achieved this. And um, they will make their own contribution to the growth of the society, the growth of our nation. And that's more practical. That's something that is achievable within uh, that, a two-year. That year. is it's achievable because uh, uh, by the time uh, when God, if, if when God permits us to get there, uh, this is something we think that can easily be set up, monitored, and achieved. And also, um, MBA being a very big platform, I should look at uh, look at creating a template for some law firms to um, you know have an optimal uh, performance. Well, many law firms are not business minded. The, the, the way they approach the practice is, uh, is, not more, is, more, is not more of a business and therefore they earn little or nothing and do not have the, the ability to pay what is right. So when law firms do the right thing and have a good template on how to run the law firms, you know, they will be able to also earn more money and pay their younger ones. So it is important, uh, NBA having a very big platform should be able to create love, uh, that template. That template will guide the, the young firms that are coming up, the middle firms. Uh, as you may know, many of the big law firms have already been able to create such templates because they have the resources to engage uh, competent and uh, uh, institutions or companies have come to create templates for them and they're wrong with it. But uh, some, some other law firms that are coming up may not have that template and they don't earn much more money. So it is important for MBA to look into it and be able to do so. So if we have all this in place, uh, the firms will be able to earn and will be able to pay. And again, maybe most importantly, is a capacity building. You know, uh, when you talk about not earning, at times we don't end because we don't know. That is why uh, the Bible, for some of us who are Christians, you know, it, it says that uh, my people perish. Because, yeah, because of lack of knowledge, not necessarily because of lack of money. 